Good morning, everyone. Um, sitting outside having some coffee this morning before I head back to the hospital with my daughter. Uh, some of you know that uh, I have a daughter who's five with Rett syndrome. And with that neurological disorder, it takes away their ability to walk and to talk. And um, she just recently had her tonsils and adenoids removed and she's had a pretty rough recovery. But yesterday, if you're Facebook friends with me, I'm sure I was blowing up your news feed because it was a great, great day. She had kind of turned a corner in her recovery and um, was kind of back to her baseline. You know, her smile, her laugh, she was eating, she was drinking, she was happy. You know, we went to a little um, celebration at my granddaughter's school and brought her cupcakes and had cupcakes with her. And so we get home, and I'm so excited. Um, one, because she's doing amazing. She looks absolutely amazing. And I'm like, I got my girl back, you know? Like, I got my girl back. My heart's been breaking all week long. So anyways come home and we're having a great great day I set her on her recliner you know so I could use the bathroom really um, and I go to the bathroom and I come out and there's fucking blood just gushing all over the place I mean her face is covered in blood of course my heart just stops for a second so I'm like what the fuck you know, I mean, blood's just pouring out of my baby's face and nose. And, you know, I'm, she just had this surgery, so I was like, oh, my God, she's bleeding. She's bleeding out. She's hemorrhaging, you know. So, of course, I know I'm going to call 911. My husband's on the way home. He should be in, walking in the door like any minute because, you know, this weekend was going to be the most amazing weekend. One, because my son was coming home. I haven't seen him in a couple months. And um, I was so excited about his visit. And it was a surprise to my oldest daughter because it's our granddaughter's birthday. And so I was really excited about that. Also, I was having a little girls night to celebrate one of our really good friends engagement. So, you know, I sent my husband out to the grocery store to get, you know, wine and cheese, and it was just going to be a great night. I was making my son's favorite stuffed shells. And then, you know, birthday party on Sunday for our granddaughter with the whole family here, which doesn't happen a lot. So, like, <laughs> total buzzkill to, um, you know, have all this going on in your head and be so happy about everything and then have to walk in and see your daughter in that condition. Now here's the thing, and here's why I hate Rett Syndrome today. Because, I'm sorry, let me take a drink and try to compose myself. You know, imagine you're lolly da, you're walking around your house, you're having a great day, it's Friday, you're getting ready to celebrate this weekend, your kid's coming home for the weekend, and you go pee. And you come out and you see your kid in that condition, you know, your kid can probably run to you, scream to you, Mommy, I'm bleeding, look at this, you know. Um, and my daughter was sitting there, you know, I, I went pee, so I wasn't gone away from her that long. But in those five or six minutes it took me to pee, wash my hands, and come back out to her. I'm wondering what she was thinking. She knows, my daughter knows what's going on. She's not stupid, she's not retarded. She knows everything that's going on around her. And I just wonder in those five or six minutes, when blood was gushing out of her mouth and she was seeing it on her hands and she was smeared it on her face, what she was thinking. She was thinking, Mom, where are you? You know, look what's happening to me. It hurts. 
you know, obviously she busted a scab or something. That's what we're hoping. It's nothing more serious than that. But what was she thinking? You know, where's mommy? What's happening? You know, she can't walk. So she couldn't get herself up to run to me to tell me what was happening to her. That's why I fucking hate right, threat syndrome today because it took, it stole my daughter's voice. She couldn't scream and cry and come to me when that was happening to her. She couldn't get up because she can't walk. She couldn't come find mommy like your kid might be able to come do if it gets a boo-boo or gets hurt. My kid can't do that. So, I'm on my way back to the hospital, and we're really praying that um, it's, like I said, nothing more serious than just scabs busted, and she was doing a lot of coughing in the last couple of days, so maybe that's what happened. Yesterday was her best day eating and drinking, so maybe that put a little strain on her, you know, the healing process. I don't know. But here's what I do know. Brett Syndrome doesn't care about you doesn't care about your family life or your work or your marriage or your granddaughter's birthday coming doesn't care about any of that any of that it'll just show up and take try to take whatever joy and happiness you have without any warning disturbing your life is an understatement and uh, I'm home right now because I'm married to the most amazing man who knew um, how important it was for me to be here last night when my son arrived. So after I knew, you know, my daughter's stable, she's not in any danger, just stayed overnight for observation. Um, but my husband knew how important it was that I was here to greet my son when he got here. And so I came home to uh, be home when he was here shower and uh now I'm headed back up there so just pray for our family because I try to stay positive and uh, always have a really good outlet outlet on things outlook I try to stay optimistic about things but like yesterday what a roller coaster of emotion you know imagine being on that roller coaster of emotion every single day. Really, it's every single day. So, I'm sorry I'm a blubbering mess. I know I told you in my first intro that you're going to see me laugh and you're going to see me cry. And today's just one of those days. So, pray for us, pray for Angelina, and pray that, you know, we can salvage this weekend because it really means a lot to our family. Thank you, and I'll try to update um, what I can.